Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Gino Reynolds and this is WND Presents The Real Gino. Today we're going to take a look at a movie that I guess is the end of a franchise. That's what they're saying. So let's do this. Let's do it! Set a few years after the last movie, Michael Myers has disappeared and Laurie Strode has moved on with her life. Things change when her granddaughter Allison begins to date a young man with a tragic past. Okay, so here's the deal. We do all agree that Halloween 2018 was good and Halloween Kills was terrible, right? I guess where I'm going with this is that this movie, at least the majority of it, should have been and would have made a better second movie than the last one. You see, one of the big focuses on this one is, like the other movies, the question of what is evil? Are we born evil? Can our lives turn us evil? Or can it be both? The motivation for Michael Myers is that he was always seen as a pure evil, and that argument makes sense. Other than not killing children, he doesn't exactly have any redeeming qualities, but what about a new character? Enter Corey, the boyfriend I mentioned a bit ago. It'll be kind of hard to talk about this character without giving away some big plot points, but I'll try. Minor spoilers possibly, so you've been warned. Still with me? Alright. So the reason I think that this would have been a better second movie is that introducing a brand new character this late in the game takes so much away from the main rivalry, Michael and Lori. Being that they are calling this the final one, I'll believe it when I see it, it should have all been about the two of them. While there were things in both sequels that could have worked, the order of things was way off, much to this franchise's detriment. I can say that overall this one was way better than the last one in all aspects, despite the bad reviews. So, is the terror of Halloween night truly over? I'll never tell. I'm not going to spoil that, but I do feel that overall this timeline of events, or whatever they are calling these different reboots and such, were just okay. That being said, after Halloween 2018, these should have been great and had the ideas to be, but the execution just wasn't there. If you want to see it, you can see Halloween ends in theaters and on Peacock right now. That's going to be it for this edition of WND Presents The Real Gino. As always, I am your host, The Real Gino, Gino Reynolds. Till next time.